Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my second leaderboard for Mr. Supranational 2022. Welcome to my second leaderboard. Again, this is for Mr. Supernational, my top 15 for my second leaderboard. And I'm doing this simply because in a few weeks, we are already about to release the organization. I mean, it's already about to release the videos of their Supra chat. And of course, we know that unlike other male pageants, Mr. Supernational is the kind of pageant that gives emphasis to the public speaking of the male contenders and other pageants don't really do that. They only focus on the performance on stage and the physique and the beauty of face. But what I love about Mr. Supernational is it's considering all different aspects and giving emphasis to public speaking which is really, really good. So I have watched all of the confirmed candidates so far. So here's my current top 15 and I'm supposed to make 10 only but it turns out there's actually a lot of good candidates this year. So here's my current top 15 and let's see if we have the same set of favorites. Starting with my number 15, Belgium. Jentel van Horbeck, one of the potential dark horses this year. He's got a very modelist features which I think he could use for his advantage in this competition. My number 14 goes to the Czech Republic. Giri Perut, very charming face and appeal, something that would really make you smile and could easily be liked by many fans. He's not screaming front runner to me as of the moment, but he's a good one. My number 13 goes to Greece. Leonidas Amphilokios, I was quite impressed with his recent photo shoot, the way he looked, the way he looked more is more fitting with the Mr. Supernational that I have seen before. So hopefully he'll continue to maintain the progress that we are seeing. I didn't like him before. I didn't really notice him before when I was making my previous leaderboard. But my goodness, after the recent posts and photo shoots that they've been posted, that they have posted, I was able to notice him. So that is a good thing and a good move for the team Greece Supernational. My number 12 goes to Lao, Fima Sonti Sangvan. He was the earliest candidate to be announced to represent in 2022 and he has so much time to prepare for the competition. He looked very young, he looked fresh and typically the boy next door of this batch. I am super super excited to see how he does in this competition because one thing is for sure, he will charm many many fans this year. My number 11 goes to Thailand. I think the advantage of Thailand in this competition is his strong stage presence when he's on stage doing his thing, either in swimwear or in formal wear. When he smiles and gives you his adorable smile, that's something you cannot ignore. Add on to that, he's one of the candidates that already looked polished and is so ready to compete. As in, right now, he's just good to go. My number 10 goes to... Indonesia. Matthew Gilbert, just like what I've said before, I am positive that he could do well because he looked more polished than the previous representatives that they've sent overall quality-wise. And with the coming Supra chat, this would help us determine whether he'll be good to go will be good to go and whether he'll go far in this competition or not. Because I haven't really heard him speak before, so the Supra chat will give us a preview and on how he does when it comes to public speaking. My number nine goes to Cambodia. Lao Panha. If there is one candidate that I am hoping to do very, very well, it would be Cambodia. I mean, I am just in love with his type of beauty. Very simple, yet very appealing, charismatic, and he's got a very enticing stare and aura. I seriously hope that he will deliver and I am already sure that he's going to be one of my sentimental favorites this year. I'm just crossing my fingers that he could also do well when it comes to interviews. My number eight goes to Poland. Jakub Kowalewski, 
there's no more question whether he'll place or not because he's definitely guaranteed a placement. The only question now is how far he'll go. Well, based on the overall roster of the candidates, he looked great and his body looked amazing. He's exactly the same type of what we would expect from a Mr. Poland competing in Mr. Supernational. So for me, he will get a placement not less than a top 10 as of now. Me number 8. Me number 7 goes to Peru. Nicola Roberto. I think he is an excellent follow-up after their victory last year with Varo Vargas and an incredibly handsome face and an immediate favorite after he was announced as the representative of Peru for Mr. Supernational. For now, I am sensing a solid top 10 or even top 5 for him, but that would depend on how he would do during the competition. Lane number 6 goes to Spain. Manuel Endele, he's got one of the best bodies in the competition so far and I've always been repeating that because he does. I love his gorgeous smile, I am loving his skin color, and he's not only one of the potential front runners this year, but he could actually be one of the strong spoilers to take home the title from other front runners that we labeled. So hopefully, he will give us some more surprise as we come close to the competition. Now let's go to my top 5! Hi! I am so sorry. Let me just go ahead and interrupt you a little bit. Please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also if you wanted to support my channel, you can do so through this. Okay? Please don't forget. And let's go ahead and go back to the video. Bye! Lane number 5, the Dominican Republic. Rudy Batista, physical aspect-wise, Dominican Republic could be an easy front runner for the top 5. Personally, I think it's one of the candidates that really fascinated me every time he uploads new photos. I love his very manly look, but looking young at the same time, I love the combination. If he could deliver in interviews, then I am manifesting a sure top 5 finish for him. My number 4 goes to France. Pierre Bondon, he screams perfection to me. I mean, the way he looked, his body, his charm, and his aura screams a possible contender for the win. What's holding me back for now is the interviews because I haven't heard him speak yet. But if he delivers in that area, it would be a first win for France and it could become a reality easily. And another thing that's holding me back is that his personality because looking back at the delegates of France in other male pageants, I am not really connecting that much when it comes to personality and stage presence. So I am hoping that she is going to work on that specific area to do well. My number three goes to my favorite, Malta, Ron Bonsfield. He just screams winner to me as of the moment. He's got the look, the smile, and the body of someone who could dominate this competition. And add on to that, that Malta got quite a pretty good record in the competition too. As of this time, he's definitely in consideration to be a crown contender. I mean, look at him. Gorgeous. My number two goes to Vietnam. Dat Kyo. We have seen Vietnam dominate in other male pageants and they might do it also with Mr. Supernational. He looked extremely good, he looked polished to perfection, and has the stance and aura of a strong candidate. However, the only difference between Mr. Supernational and other male pageants is that Mr. Supernational, which I have said earlier, gives so much credit to public speaking. So I haven't heard him speak yet. So. If he will dominate and do well in public speaking, so definitely it's going to be something that will decide whether he'll go for the win or whether he'll just finish somewhere in the top 5 or in the top 10. But right now, I am already sure that with his quality, he's a sure shoe in in the first cut. I mean, wow, wow. So you should follow him too in his social media. But my current number one for Mr. Supernational 2022 goes to Argentina. Angel Olaya, he is the winner of the virtual competition Superstar Search, which gave him the chance to represent his country in this competition. And I am one of the judges as well of the Superstar Search, and he was my choice to win. Honestly, 
he's won one of the strongest candidates this year for Mr. Supernational. And while I was judging Superstar Search, I was like, if we're going to crown a winner, we need someone who's going to do very well in the competition. And when I continue to follow his journey in Superstar Search, I already knew that he's going to be one of the candidates that could really represent his country very, very well in the pageant. So I'm so glad that he went. And aside from that, he is a diamond in the rough. And as the competition comes close, he is starting to show how strong he is in the competition. I love the recent photo shoots of him. Super, super stunning. Love his very handsome face, great body, and oh wow. I am just so, so excited for him in this competition. And it would be amazing if he comes from Superstar Search and then won Mr. Supernational. But I know it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because there's a lot of strong candidates this year that won their pageant through their national pageant so we'll see we'll see how he does and let me just share as well that one thing that i love about angel ulaya is that he, he doesn't only look great he doesn't only have a great body but he can also speak very well which is going to be one of his advantage he may not be fluent in english but when he express himself in spanish and be translates it properly you'll be impressed so that's it this is my current second leaderboard top 15 for Mr. Supranational 2022 and I am looking forward to know your thoughts, to read your commentaries about my current leaderboard and let's see if you have the same favorites and let's see which of these men impressed you the most. So don't forget to leave your comments below, don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.